What's up guys, Keon Sobani from Managing Madrid here. Welcome if you're watching this on YouTube. Welcome if you're listening to this at home on the podcast feed. We are doing a little bit something different today. We are just across the street from the Bernabeu. We are going to head to the Bernabeu now. It's two hours before Real Madrid versus Napoli kicks off and we are going to interview fans outside the stadium. I'm not sure exactly about what yet. We're going to see whatever feels right in the moment. We're going to ask them where they're from, their thoughts on the season and just get some perspective from Maridisa. So we are heading to the Bernabeu right now. We'll see you there. Follow me. Let's go. What's up, guys? We got Luis and Victor here. How are you guys doing? Very good. We are, we are going to see the play. It's, uh, okay. it's a surprise. He's, he's, it's his birthday. My birthday. Your birthday so, yes. today? Oh, no. Ah. Uh, it's the gift. Birthday present? Yes. yes okay. Yes. You're a big Maridisa? Uh, yes. Since when? Since I was born. Since you were born. Yeah, yeah. Okay, born so in Venezuela. He born in Venezuela. And I born in Canary Island. And we are Madridistas <laughs> from from from, from we uh, when, when I city. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yes. So you grew up with Zidane or yes. before that? No, no, no. Uh, the first um, I w I Ronaldo, the number nine. Cristiano. No, no. Ronaldo Nazario. 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 Ah, original. Yes. Uh, after that, Ronaldo is my my number one. Okay. Beyond that, that is. How do you like this season for Real Madrid so far? So far, so good. No, the, at the moment, yeah. uh, we think uh, the, um, all the uh, lesiones, the injuries, it, all the injuries we have. I think the the, the team are doing very good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's important that we need a new uh, D, uh, DC. From in, in this winter, new signing. New signing, yes. yes. What, what? Striker. Yeah, striker. Yes. We need a striker. Who? 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 Haaland. Yes. Haaland or Harry Kane. It, it, it was the the best option. In I the... know. Too late. Too late. Yes. Yeah, too late. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, I have one more question. Yeah. Kepa or Lunin? Lunin. Now Lunin. Lunin. Sorry, I have interview. I call you later. <laughs> He's on FaceTime. <laughs> my brother. He likes also. Uh, okay. Madrid. Okay. Good, Eddie. Yeah, we have Gavi here. Gavi, what's up? I, how long have you been Madridista for? I am born with the uh, Madridista idea. I know I know nothing else about Madrid. Amazing. It's only Madrid that I know. I, I, do you live in Madrid? I I was born in Syria, and then I moved to the Netherlands, and uh, yeah, I know I come for the first time to the Bernabeu. Man, this is like, your first time. This is my first time. It's like a dream special coming day, true. Special day, special day for Gavi. Oh, Amazing. Hola, Madrid boys. Okay, so what do you think of Real Madrid season so far? I think uh, if we go like this, 3-0 tonight, boys! 3-0 tonight! predictions? <laughs> I think if we go like this, this time going to be us. I just pre print my t-shirt tonight. Fede Valverde. Fede Valverde. And this one, sorry. This one, another I put it up a stock. Hola Madrid! Hola Madrid! Hola Madrid! Hola <laughs> Madrid! Madrid! It's like dream becoming true. Amazing, amazing. It's, you don't know anything about the adrenaline. Even if you are not a football fan, only just to, to see these people here, it's like something else man you never feel it in another any any other sport or something else bro just wait till you get inside it's I gonna be amazing wait. i can't wait man Allah madrid boys gavi thank you so thank much, you very much. Thank madrid. You for everything, guys. all right Khaled is here outside the bernabal real madrid versus napoli about to kick off Khaled, yeah. what's up man how long have you been a real madrid fan for uh, i'm a super fan of real madrid and i hope we uh, we, we we win the, the match for tonight so, uh, hello Madrid. Hello Madrid. Uh, uh, how long have you been a Real Madrid fan? Since you were a kid? Yeah, si since my childhood. Yeah. My, my, my childhood. Childhood, yeah. yeah. Who's your favorite player? My favorite player was Zinedine Zidane, then Cristiano Ronaldo, and now is Billy. Jude Bellingham. <laughs> Did you? Are you surprised Jude Bellingham is as good as he is now? Because he's amazing, scoring so many goals, 14 goals so far. Yeah, I think so, because he's a big player. He's the player of the big the big actions, the big matches like yeah. this. The big moments. Yeah, big the one. big moments. Just throw, and then, and then they can, you can come out, okay? Sure, sure. Yeah, do you want to just stand there behind sure. my friend Eddie? Sure. Okay, recording. you come come to this side. What was your name? My name is Patricia. Patricia, I'm Kian. Nice to meet you. Nice okay, to meet you. we're good? Okay. Yeah. All right, we're here with Patricia outside of the Bernabeu. Patricia, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, and you? I'm good. Good. How long have you been a Real Madrid fan for? Um, from from Real Madrid? Yeah. Yeah, have many many years. I like it. It's signs how Vinny Junio is playing in this this game in this equipo. Yeah, in this team. In this team. Yeah. So. Um, is he? Many years is he your favorite player? 
Vinny Junior. Vinny Junior. Si. Vinny Junior. Uh. Are you? Is this your first time here at the Bernabeu? It's my first time in Bernabeu. Yes. Are you excited? Too much. Too much. I'm, not more because Vinny Junior is not playing. I know he's tonight, injured, but, so, but but I'm very happy because Bellingham, Rodrigo, it's going to yes, be a fun game. Yes, they are very good too. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's just because I love Vinny Junior, but I'm really happy because I'm here to see Real Madrid. I'm very excited about this. All right, we're here with Antonio. Antonio, tell me your story. How long have you been Madridista for? Uh, for a long time ago. Okay, born and oh, raised. All my life. Oh, your whole life. Okay, I want to ask you a question about this season and the future, okay? So, these people are walking in front of the camera, they don't care, it's okay. <laughs> um, how do, they, do you do you like what Carlo Ancelotti is doing so far with the team? Yeah, I like it, but I think that it's better to change. So you think it, we need a new direction? Yeah. What's the direction, who? You want to bring back Zidane, you want to go Xabi Alonso? Yeah, Xabi Alonso, I think that is the best Option, yeah. Why? Because it's an ancient Madridist and I'm very, no, no, I'm very technical, no, yeah. Tec uh, technical tactician? Yeah. Yeah, and he's well respected. Yeah. yeah, so do you think when the season ends, Carlo Ancelotti at the end of the season should walk away? He should leave and then Xabi Alonso come in next summer? Yeah, yeah, he's probably, he's probably. Okay. Any other changes, new players, new signings? Uh, Mbappé, maybe. Mbappé, maybe. I don't, I don't know. And Plan B? What thing? The the support, the, all the support. Yeah, depends on depends on how we do this season too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome, Gavi. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining. Good luck. Enjoy the game. Okay. Thank Ala Madrid for the camera. Ala Madrid. All right. We got Raúl. This is interesting because Raúl recognized me. He's a patron. How long have you been listening to the podcast for? Uh, 2016. Oh my God, even I haven't been listening to the podcast. That's like before I started. 2016 is a lot. So this is a, a true Managing Madrid podcast listener fan. Uh, so 17 maybe. Uh, around, around yeah, the time, yeah, that's the peak. The three, the, right in the middle of the three peak. Right. Okay, so uh, is that when you became a fan as well? No, I became a fan in Not 2002. 2002. So okay. my best friend from school is a Barcelona fan. I knew nada about football. I just knew Barcelona's mortal enemy was Real Madrid. So just to kind of piss him off, I became a Real Madrid. I start, and that was the year when Zidane scored the goal. So I said, wow, that's a good team. And I started supporting them for real. I've heard so many stories like that of like, I became Madridista to piss off my brother. <laughs> and it was like the best decision that they've made in their life. Uh, what are your thoughts on the season so far? Um, I think surprisingly good. Bellingham has been uh, better than we expected. Without a striker, we're doing well. And I hope we get at least a double, if not a treble, this season. Um, if the team stays healthy and scores goals, do you think we need to sign someone new in the summer? Yes, we do. Okay. We do. The, the, the striker and the right back position are the areas of concern. Yeah. So we definitely need a striker. If not, you know who, then it has to be a premier striker. Uh, to lead uh, the vacant number nine position. So you're saying either Mbappe or Holland, basically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or maybe today we might get a premier performance by Ossiman. So, well, uh, so but that in a, in, a, in, a, in a losing battle, he loses, but Ossiman plays well. Sure, yeah. Uh, so people might be watching this in the future. So we're not going to talk about the game necessarily too much, but I did want to ask you this. Right now, it's November. The hot topic is Lunin or Kepa. Who would you start when Kepa comes back? For now, Lunin. He's proved himself. He's safe penalties. He's been safe. And he's bided his time, man. I think he should be the one uh, who should be rewarded to start. But I know Carlo goes for the faith aspect, not as in who's better. He trusts players. So I think he just may start Kepa. Awesome. That's a, that's a popular sentiment. Uh, do you want to give us a score prediction too? 2-0 uh, Real Madrid. 2-0 Real Madrid. Okay, you'll be watching this in the future. We'll see if you got it right. Raul, enjoy the game, man. Thank you. We're, we're here with Peter outside the Bernabeu. Peter, where are you from? I'm from Slovakia. Slovakia. You travel here just for the game? Yes. Okay. Only for the game. First time? Second time? It's my first time uh, to see a match uh, Real Madrid, but the second time uh, to visit uh, Bernabeu. Okay. Uh, how did you become a Real Madrid fan? Uh, when uh, Zinedine Zidane uh, uh, transferred to Real Madrid. Yeah, very common, very common. What do you think about Real Madrid's season so far? Do you like what Ancelotti has done? Are you happy? <clears throat> uh, I would uh, prefer to play uh, with a uh, cl uh, classical striker. 
but uh, Ancelotti not so. So you would play Jose Lu in the team, or you want to sign someone new? Uh, I would like to play uh, Jose Lu yeah. in front and uh, Rodrigo and uh, Vinicius uh, on the wings. And then Bellingham a little bit in midfield deeper. A li little bit uh, lower. Okay. Okay. Uh, what are your predictions for the season? So no striker coming until maybe next year. Do you think we can win Champions League? I don't think so. I think it would be semi-final. Semi-final. Not bad. How about La Liga? Title. Okay. Champion. Okay, so La Liga title, semi-final champions, not bad. It's a good season. And Copa del Rey. And Copa del Rey. <laughs> okay, so doblete, double. La Liga, yeah. Copa del Rey, and Champions League semi-final. Yes. Okay. Right. Peter, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy the game. Hello, Madrid. Hello, Madrid. We got one hour before the Real Madrid Napoli game starts. This is the Managing Madrid podcast. We got Gavin here. Gavin, where are you here from? Where did you travel from? I travel from Dublin, Ireland. Ireland. Okay. Yeah. Uh, have you been a Real Madrid fan your whole life? Uh, not really. I, I normally follow the Champions Leagues because they're so dominant in the Champions League. Forza Napoli! No, no, no! Hala Madrid! Hala Madrid! Hala Madrid! Uh, so, okay, so you became a fan because you watched Real Madrid in the Champions League. You love watching them play. Yeah. That was cool to you. Yeah. Okay, who's your favorite player? Uh, either Vinicius or Bellingham, I'd say. Yeah. You, uh, you, you must be blown away from, by Bellingham, what he's doing this year, right? Yeah, he's unreal. Yeah. yeah. Is this your first time here? Yeah. At the stadium? Okay. Uh, what's the occasion? Why did you choose this game? Uh, tomorrow's my 18th birthday. Um, oh. so. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. That's awesome. That, there's no better way to spend your birthday. All right, Gavin, enjoy the game, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care, man. Thank you for coming on the you show. Too. All right, buddy. All right. What's up, guys? How you doing? Maridista? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. yes. How long? Uh, three days. You're here? Oh, you're in Madrid for two days? Yeah, for three days. How long have you been a Real Madrid uh, fan for? Oh, ça fait combien de temps t'es fan? Uh, plein de, depuis, depuis que je suis petit. Uh, quand, when you are quand, quand Zinedine Zidane jouait pour, uh, pour Real Madrid? No, uh, to Cristiano Ronaldo. Ah, Cristiano yeah. Benzema. Yeah, Benzema. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Who is your favorite player now? Uh, no. Bellingham. Bellingham. Yeah, for me, Vinicius. Yeah. Vinicius. <laughs> is this your first time going to a yeah. game? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Why did you choose this this one, Napoli? For what? Uh, I don't know. He you don't chose. Know. You choose this one. Il a dit pourquoi on a choisi. Pourquoi vous pourquoi vous avez choisi Napoli pour votre premier temps? En premier, parce que j'aime aussi Napoli. Il y a des bons joueurs. Ils ont un route player. And, uh, <laughs> why should we win it for the first time?